Hello, this video will show how to update uh, OpenAI instance from version 3 to version 4. Uh, we have a test account in the version 3. Uh, the most interesting is using uh, OpenAI version 3.6 and 3.6.1. So we have a test user with the own password and the oven header response question answer so it's the last uh, word in the question name food and the sport the most problematical part of the update is the database updating uh, mainly this is linked to the fact that the encrypted action algorithm in the open M has been changed to simplify the update process, we're creating a migration tool. So imagine that you have updated the all required uh, component of the OpenAM version 4 and now only the database update is still pending. If you are using the RPM installation, you will have the data OpenAM con folder as well. In this folder, you will see a schema file a folder and in the schema folder there is a migration folder it's coming with a version 4151 of the openm also you can use this migration script separately if you're using openm version 4 but previous than the 4151 <laughs> so we will navigate into migration tool and if you will just run it will note you the format of the using this command so here is a supported type in version 4.1.5.1 is mysql and postgresql databases and you can update from version 3.4 and from version 3.5 or later till the 3.6.1 if you need to update from the early version of openm you need to perform incrementally all required scripts so for example if you have the previous version of mysql database let's say you have the version 3 to 3 yeah so you need to perform separately 3 to 3 3 to 2 and so on till the version 3 for 0 for example and after you will be able to use the migration script I'll turn back to the migration script migration so as we see in the run we can we need to find the db type current open version and db root password we recommend you to stop all open instances that's running as well old and new version so in my example i still have the gboss and tomcat running it's a for old version so i can stop gboss server and tomcat server and waiting while they will be stopped so we can check the java processes are they still running no there is no so we are ready for the migration so we are running our script uh, we using we using a DB type like MySQL and we have version 3.6 so we are pointing here the 3.5 and also we need to define the DB root password so in my example the root password <laughs> is the open M we see the process of updating so it's performing the sql script till the version 151 after this version there are no any conflict in the version so you can for next updates you can update just on the delta files that is provided with the package so also the location of the gks file gks file is the master key of the openm that is the master key for all encryption key 
and it's located here it's by default user local open and data open and con so please keep this file before any update as a database dump the two things the database bound and open gks files always coming together and if you lose open gks file you will permanently use all encrypted things like a passwords and change response question answers for you, all your end users So I am going to use the open name that is located on the another server. So on my another server I go into data open GKS and I run a cp command from the APML point open name local to my host machine. I'm copying this file here. Yeah. So we can see the the file this file has been updated uh, because i'm using another instance for version 4 i need to specify the data source properties in data open conf on the new version so for the host machine i need to define the location of database rpm openim dot local uh, be sure that on your server is MariaDB, the port, port 3306 is opened and for lo parallel load to communicate with this. And also you need to validate your username and passwords <laughs> that they are valid. And we will navigate to another instance on the local host of console and firstly uh, we need to log in as a sysadmin because system wants us to set up the content provider which is mandatory version 4 but our test user have no access to this uh, we recommend to clean up your cookie and cache and Navigate to the web console, user sysadmin, default, no, there are many questions about what application server is, so it actually shows your application where the UI model is located, so for example if you're using a reverse proxy, this is a relative from the reverse proxy so on this address the reverse proxy will trying to find the UI and click save so message will show you that you will need probably to wait several minutes okay we need to finish the configuration of sysadmin that we didn't do in version 3 and we will need to wait for several minutes openm on the background will create new content provider and uh, some uh, internal stuff uh, for authorization of authentication models to make user works 
updated the page and I start to see the UI so we can check the test user is still here user which we created is here so now we will try to plug in and check that we have all test user all the data encrypted so password is okay and let's check our answers you can see that the answers is good it's the same that we had before so the last word from the question food sport and so on let's go back as a sysadmin go to the web console and in the system configuration we will see that the crypto algorithm is a DES DES is the algorithm that is used in OpenRM of the previous versions so if we want to use the um, latest encrypting algorithm we need to change this value to AES and click save uh, after that the system probably will stop working because the cookie encryption and the private key is wrong for now so you see it will direct me to the login page and say that my login and password so to uh, fix this we need to do the following Firstly, we will stop the ESB jar file. After it will be stopped, we will use the Redis CLI util. And if we use some uh, authentication, we use it. So my password for Redis is OpenAM. And perform the flush all command in the Redis CLI. It will clean up completely the ready storage there is no any end user data which stores there it's mainly used to keep the end user session and the caches open and caches so we perform this and exit now we can run the esb as well and waiting while it will start after it's done we need to clean up the cookie in our browser so there will no be any kind of alt values okay when it's done clean up we cleaned up the browser cookie and caches uh, sometimes it require it show you after you login it will show you the same login page without any errors so in this case you need to restart the UI component UI, uh, the Tomcat server in this case we don't need this so we can continue so we will go to the system configuration and check the encryption algorithm it's AES and we will log out and login with our test user test user zero zero have the 401 because our user doesn't have access to the cell web console so we need to go to the cell service and we see the information here and we change response so we can check that the values keeping so encryption decryption work as expected and your database is updated with a new Algorithm and GKS file has been updated. Thank you for your attention.